Welcome to another installment of United Way's Advancing the Common Good uh, Collective Impact Series. Uh, my name is Brian Johnson and I'm the Executive Director of United Way of the Lewis and Clark area and we're pleased to have you watching today. Uh, today we have another special guest with us, Deborah Swingley, the uh, Executive Director and CEO of the Montana Developmental Disabilities Council. Thanks for being with us today, Deborah. Thanks for having me. And today, Deborah is here to help us talk about public transportation and the need for uh, maybe expanded public transportation services in, uh, in, in Lewis and Clark County and, and, and maybe even beyond. And uh, so before we dive into the importance of public transportation, Deborah, uh, tell us a little bit about the, the Developmental Disabilities Developmental Disabilities Council and why you're involved in transportation issues. Well, wonderful, and thank you. Um, there is a, a council like our council in every state and trust territory in the country. We're actually created under a federal law. Uh, Montana supports a 26 member gubernatorial appointed uh, council of which I'm very fortunate to work with. And we work in nine areas uh, under the federal law, one of which is transportation. Well, uh, that's great. And so <laughs> in, you have sort of nine priorities and transportation is one of mm -hmm. them. And so let's zero in on that today. Uh, okay. I think that folks in Helena are kind of aware of uh, transportation excitement that's gone on in the community yeah. over the last several years. You know, our new transportation facility was completed in 2011 yes. uh, down on, uh, on uh, Cedar, Montana, down just, on Montana. Just off, Mon just yeah. off Montana, yeah. And so, so what's news with public transportation in Helena? Oh, it's so exciting. Well. We have lots of things going on. Um, I, some of the activities that you had, had alluded to were um, the Helena Inclusive Training, Trans, Transit Planning Grant Round 1, which uh, happened last fall. And then uh, I, we have been fortunate to secure a second round of uh, the Inclusive Transit Planning Grant that uh, we're implementing at this point in time. You know, it, transit is, is really the lifeblood of any community. And you can feel very isolated in your community if you can't get around in your community. Uh, and it's not just the things that sometimes people think about, you know, we need to get to medical appointments or we need to get to, um, oh, I don't know, a meeting or something like that. But really, if you don't have a way to get from your home to where you want to go, you can be as isolated as if you were living in a very, very remote community. And Helen is such a vibrant community that we really want people to get out and be a part of that fully included community. Well, that's great. And so uh, when folks watch our Advancing the Common Good series, I think they sometimes have an interest in how they can become involved. You know, maybe there's someone out there watching today who's particularly passionate about public transportation and public transportation advocacy. How would they tune in to this, this grant process you mentioned or, or what's, what's going on okay. to provide inclusive transportation for folks? Well, every, every community that has a transit district or, or transit, transit system has a TAC or a Transportation Advisory Committee and, and Helen is is growing by leaps and bounds but certainly if someone wants to be involved in these things I would encourage them to come and join the TAC as, as a first step it is a citizen based volunteer body um, if you have people if you're an employer and you have people that use transit absolutely come and be at that table if you're just a writer of that system come and be at that table because all of those voices combined voices make for greater impact uh, we are an advisory body uh, and certainly, uh, the more voices we have at the table, the better advice that we can provide to our, our local transit system. So that's called the Transportation Advisory Council. Correct. Okay. And yes. so, who does it advise? Why does it exist? Well, it advises our local transit service, which is HATS, the Her Helena Area Transit uh, System. And that is a function of the city of Helena. But, uh, and so we have, we're very fortunate to have at the table a very active membership, including uh, members of the city commission and the county commission. And of course, Steve Larson, who is the superintendent of the HATS uh, current system. He keeps the wheels on the bus going he, <laughs> round and round. And round and round, absolutely. Yeah, that's yes, great. We're, we're delighted uh, to be able to work so collaboratively uh, with, with all of those entities. So if someone out there wants to get involved in the TAC or, mm -hmm. or, or, or learn more about this, this process, mm -hmm. how would they get a hold of you or someone to connect? Certainly. Well, my phone number, uh, if they would like to call, is 443-4371. That is my office number. Uh, otherwise, our TAC meets every Tuesday, uh, the third Tuesday of every month, uh, starting at 2.30 and running till 4 o'clock at the City County Building in room 426. And just come and be a part. Uh, there is a membership form uh, that we would ask people to fill out so we can identify who's, who's at the table. Um, but beyond that, it's a fairly painless process uh, to come and be a part of the, the action. 
Great, and the meetings are open to anyone who has an interest in public transportation. Absolutely, totally open meetings. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Well, that's great. Now, um, now that we know a little bit about the Montana Council on mm -hmm. Developmental Disabilities and why transportation is important, and we've heard a little bit about hats and how folks can plug in, I've heard uh, about an inclusive planning grant that is uh, part of uh, the tax activities right now. This Transportation Adva Advisory Council is working hard on an inclusive planning grant for transportation. What's that all yes. about? Oh, we are so excited about this. This is a way to really link everyone in on this process. Helena was one of 17 communities that received the first inclusive transit planning grant. That was last fall. 17 communities in Montana? No, or? across the country. Helena. Helena, wow. one of 17. So imagine round two comes up and we are now selected of one of seven. One of seven in the country? In the country. To receive this planning grant for inclusive transportation? Absolutely. Wow. So, uh, so I think that says volumes, really, about the, the dedication and activity in, in our community. Uh, but we really wanted, when, uh, when we wrote the, the, the proposal uh, to, to secure the funds that came through Lewis and Clark County, we really wanted to make this an inclusive process. So we embedded the TAC in the activities of, of the, the second round um, project. And actually there are four, four sections in there. Uh, step one is strengthening the tax. So we've kind of already made our appeal that we'd, we'd like to have more people there. Um, as a function of that strengthening of the TAC, there's a coordination piece. There's be, uh, currently being conducted a full inventory of all of the services that are op, uh, available to people in Helena. Uh, we are also going to be developing a mobility management position description and what that program would look like as well as travel training. Um, we know that that some folks in the community do, do some forms of travel training, but this would sort of kind of be a, a standardized um, uh, version of that. Our second uh, activity in this, uh, in this grant is to actually formulate, uh, to, to set the, the framework for the creation of a um, a coalition that would focus on policy and funding, you know, my money's always an issue, it seems like. To keep the wheels on the bus <laughs> going <laughs> round and round. That's right, and right. people on that bus as yeah, it goes round yeah. and round. So that's definitely a phase two. That will be a coalition uh, building activity. Um, uh, th the third step I'm very, very excited about, and that's a communications and marketing plan. Uh, we have a consultant who specializes in small rural systems. And uh, so she will be coming in actually in September, and we'll be at one of those TAC meetings to uh, meet, meet our community uh, and also to hear that input back from the TAC. We, we set up a subcommittee to work with each one of these uh, activities in the grant, and there are dedicated folks on the TAC uh, working along in conjunction with these consultants on all of these activities. And, and our last activity uh, is actually a Transit Riders Council, so that there is actually mm. a, a formalized structure so that people who ride the bus have an ability to provide feedback and, uh, and input into the system. And that's not ever really happened before, so mm. we're very, very excited about that. Well, four planks and a pretty ambitious platform for advocating for inclusive transportation. Yes. And, and uh, it sounds like the TAC and the Disabilities Council mm -hmm. and uh, the City of Helena and the County oh. Sound Security is working really hard to to make this grow and, and, and meet the needs for the community. Absolutely, and there are so many partners on this, uh, you know. We won't try to list them all. We won't try to list them all, but I... I but everybody's on the bus. But everybody's Everybody, on the this bus. This is a fun interview. <laughs> Boy, the metaphor is just obvious. And I know United Way is interested in, and, 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 and looking to be on the bus as well, yes. because we hear so often from the community agencies that United Way partners with how important public transportation is in serving the folks in the community that, that, that need transportation support. And so uh, United Way has a strong interest there. And also uh, among our business partners, uh, we know that for the economic vitality of a community, effective public transportation is critical. And so on both sides of the coin for United Way, we have a, a lot of interest in seeing a strong public transportation infrastructure. So, so give us that phone number one more time. If folks out there are interested in being a part of the work that's going on with the TAC or with this inclusive planning mm -hmm. grant, how do they get in touch? Uh, they can reach me at 443-4371. Great. Well, Hi. Deborah, thanks for being with us today. Well, thank you for the opportunity to share this great information. Yeah, well, and uh, we'll hope we keep the wheels on the bus moving. And to all of you, uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for your support of United Way and of important community initiatives like this. And we'll see you next time.